Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. So today we have another video about my journey to make this adventure trailer totally off grid. You know, I want to make this trailer totally off grid so me and my dog could head out to the back country, go camping, have some adventures and share it all with you guys. But I want to make it totally off grid like I said. This is a blank canvas. There's really nothing in it and that's what I wanted. And this takes a few different components, solar panels, batteries, and today I have another piece of that puzzle. It's a solar charge controller from a company called Bateria. And it's a 20 amp solar charge controller. It's an MPPT charge controller, which is really awesome. Let's take a look. We'll see how it works with this panel and the battery that I've chosen for this trailer. So there's a couple ways you can use your solar panels. You can plug them into a battery pack like this Bluetti. It has a solar charge controller built right into it. You don't need to do anything. Or you can plug directly into a battery. In that case, you're gonna need this solar charge controller. I'm gonna do a combination of both in this build. So I'm gonna be able to utilize the best of both worlds. But this MPPT controller from Batteria should work very well. Now there's PWM controllers as well. They're not quite as efficient. This is the best technology. And some of the MPPT controllers are quite bulky. This one is smaller, it's portable, and it's also in line. So it's a very easy install. When you're dealing with lithium iron phosphate batteries as well, you're gonna want an MPPT controller to get the best benefits from your solar panels. So here's the unit. It's a nice compact unit, which I like. When you open up the box, there's gonna be a few adapters included and some screws to mount it. It's SAE connections, and you can buy various adapters to make sure that you don't confuse the polarity of this unit during the install. And you get your user manual, and there's also an app available so you can monitor this unit remotely. Here's the unit itself. Input and an output side, simple as that. Here's some specs you can check out for yourself, see if it's going to be applicable in your application. I think it's going to work out excellent for me. And as I said, it's a simple inline install, one side in, one side out. Let's hook it up and see how it works. As far as solar goes, I'm gonna be using my Bougie V SIGS 200 watt Yuma solar panel. I'd encourage you to check out my review of this solar panel. It's an awesome solar panel. I can't wait to put it to use. So I've had to use an adapter to convert it over to SAE. That's not an issue. Pretty easy to find these online on Amazon. I'm gonna be plugging this whole system into my Vader 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So the first thing you need to do is hook the solar charge controller up to the battery. Battery first, then the solar panel. So let's power this up, look at some of the features. So at the moment I have this connected with an SAE to ring adapter. So all we need to do is plug this into the output. There we go. Now it's connected to the battery. It's connecting automatically to the lithium iron phosphate battery, but you can change that. Long press on this button will allow you to change it to gel, AGM, or lithium iron phosphate in our case. That's what we're gonna be working with today. Showing 13 volts into this battery at the moment. It probably could use a charge. I've used this battery on a four day trip, so I'm sure there is some charge required. A long press should lock that lithium iron phosphate setting. There we go. So I'm locked into lithium iron phosphate, 13 volts. Now let's plug into the solar panel and see what happens with this solar charge controller. So I've attached the SAE adapter to the solar panel. Let's plug it into the solar charge controller, see what readings we get. There we go. It's warming up now. Looks like 13.4 volts. It's very sunny and glary here, guys, at 
11.2, 13.4 at 11.1 amps. So 13.4 volts at 11.1 amps, we can input that and calculate that. And we come up with 148.74 watts. So 148.74 watts is pretty good, pretty average for a day like today using a 200 watt solar panel. So that's what the solar charge controller is putting into the battery. Pretty cool. Most of us are more familiar with watts, including myself. I'd much rather convert it to a watt than a volt and it's a simple calculation or you can just input that information into some calculators online. It'll give you that value. So just for fun, let's plug the solar panel into this Bluetti AC50B. Remember the Bluetti has a built-in solar charge controller. So I just want to kind of see if we get up around the 148 mark, maybe higher, maybe lower. We have some cloud cover that's coming and going today. But I'm kind of hoping to get around the same numbers. So 130, we're up over 140. Yeah, so even higher. Even higher. And a little more sun. Yeah, the sun is full right now. So we're getting a few watts above 148. Not surprised about that. But it's kind of nice to confirm it, double check that they're in the same ballpark. Like most things these days, there is an app available. For this one, it's the Charge Pro 2.0. And it's really great to use the app because it gives you more information. And you'll see that right now. We'll open it up. We'll connect to the Charge Pro. There we go. There we are. And it shows what's going on with the battery. It shows the solar input and as I said there's more information here currently we're under quite a bit of cloud we're charging 13.3 volts at 3.98 amps but it does that conversion to watts for you 52 watts going into the battery so if you want all the information make sure you use the app if you just want to do the calculation on your own or you don't really care about how many watts are being pulled in well, you don't have to use the app, but I find apps really handy to use, and this one gives you all the information you need, actually. So there's the Bacteria Power MPPT Solar Charge Controller. In my opinion, pretty awesome little unit. I mean, it was super easy to install, inline, plug and play. It can't get any easier than that. I mean, I'm no electrical genius, maybe you're not either, so something like this might be good for you. The app worked well, easy to read, easy to use interface as well. I mean, you do have to do that conversion from volts and amps over to watts if you're interested in how many watts the solar panel is pulling in, but that's not a difficult calculation and there are even online calculators that'll help you with that number. So that's not a problem either. And I can't wait to get this into my full build. I'm gonna leave a link to Bacteria Power in the description box down below. You can check them out. They have other items that might suit your needs and stay tuned for the full build out i have to put all these components together get my trailer in an off-grid situation and the good thing is i'll be able to give you guys long-term feedback on all these components that i'm adding into this build so stay tuned for that thanks for watching i do appreciate it subscribe hit that bell icon i'd appreciate it a lot take care everybody bye for now